Hi, this is the Catapult for Catapult Gaming, and in this episode, I'm going to be talking about my favorite farming mods for Hypixel Skyblot. So first of all, let's talk about the client and game version. Personally, I find that the client 1.8.9, which is definitely quite old, but I find that most of the good mods are coded for that client. So you're going to have to install that. And the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need the Minecraft Forge mod. And basically this is going to be something that you install. And once you run it, it's going to allow you to install and run all of the other mods that we're going to talk about today. Now with that, there comes a couple of other mods that we're going to kind of ignore, not something that I'm using. Uh, but the other very important one I find is the Patcher mod. So Patcher allows you to get some nice performance bonuses. So basically your game is going to run smoother and also it's going to update the UI a little bit. So the 1.8.9 uh, client is going to behave a little bit better and a little bit more modern than it used to uh, behave. So the patcher mod is definitely worth installing. You'll see a good improvement in FPS and overall performance of the game. The other ones that we're going to talk about today, there's the not enough updates, which is great for all sorts of aspects of the game, but also the farming and garden in general. They have a couple of really cool things available there. And Sky Honey is the major one that I'm using for the garden that we'll be talking about today. There's a couple of others that are pretty cool, like the scrollable tooltips. It's not a big one, but it allows you to scroll and I'll show you kind of what that does uh, later in the video. And Sky Tales and Dungeon Rooms mod are two that I have, but I'm not using these uh, for farming at all. So the first thing I'll talk about is kind of why I'm using these mods and basically it gives you a lot better visibility of what's happening as you're farming. It doesn't do anything for you automatically, it doesn't change your gameplay, but I find it easier to understand what's your farming fortune and all that and you don't have to keep going in tab all the time and other places to find out information. It makes it visible quite a lot easier and saves you from doing a lot of calculations and things as you play. And I'll talk a little bit about what are some of the things that each mod brings. So if we take a look at the not enough updates and I go to the edit GUI locations, we'll see that I do have this overlay over here that basically tells you if you're ready to take your cakes, your cookie buff and god pot and all of those things if you're ready to use. The major one that I use for farming is this display over here and you'll see there's a bunch of others that are not active while you're farming but while you're using other skills these will appear but specifically for farming this one will give you information on the counter, how many crops per minute you're getting, your farming level, your XP, and XP per hour, and your yaw and uh, your pitch also. So that is pretty nifty to have. And you have the information about your pet. So what pet you have equipped, uh, how much XP it has, what level it is, and what item it's holding. All of that neat information is there. So you can see in this case, I'm using the Mushroom Cow, it's level 100, so the XP is maxed and it's using a green bandana. And then again, we have the information that I talked about there previously. So this is pretty neat where as you turn the camera, you'll see the yaw in pitch changing on the left side. So it gives you a good idea where you're pointing the camera at, you could also activate F3 and get basically the same type of information, but that clutters the screen quite a lot more and I find that having it over here is more practical and uh, looks a little bit neater. The other one uh, that I mentioned uh, that I'm using quite a lot of their GUI applications is this one. Some of them are pretty practical, like 
this one here will calculate your profits and you can set it to show the profit based on the sell offer, instant sell and NPC price for all of the crops. I have set it to show the top five crops and then their current tools crops. So, so I have the melon uh, chopper here uh, equipped. So that's why it's showing me that uh, melon is my number 12th and number third best crop to use. And it'll also give you the difference. So in this case, if you sell the melon blocks or the enchanted melons, that's gonna give you uh, different prices. So that way you can see if it's worth uh, better to sell as the uh, regular enchanted melon or if you should bother to upgrade them to the enchanted melon block and the same for all of the other crops. The other cool one here is for the visitors. So we can see that I currently have four visitors and the next one is going to be in nine minutes. And if I were farming, then it would uh, give you a slash and a new time based on the bonus that you get uh, while you're farming actively. And it also tells you what visitors you have and what kind of crops that they generally accept. So if you like Space Marine, Felix, Liam and all that, they accept any crop. But Eleanor is only interested in carrots. And once you talk to an NPC, you'll see exactly how many of the crop that they're currently wanting and what's the value of those crops. A couple of other things are just kind of you know, funny anecdotal things. So we have this one here, the Dicer Drop Tracker, since I have the Blessed Melon Dicer equipped, and it's going to tell me how many of the different uh, bonus drops that I got over the time of using this Dicer uh, ever since I've installed the mod. And likewise, it will tell me how many Croppy Squash and Fermento I've dropped since I had the mod installed and I'd say I probably got a whole lot more than these uh, in my earlier days of farming but since I've had the mod uh, these are the quantities that I got. The other one here that I take a quite an interest in is the crop milestones display and this tells me that I'm currently melon level 38 going towards 39 and I'm 54% of the way there. And at the farming speed I was doing earlier, it would take me about an hour, 15 minutes to reach that. But more importantly, it gives me the blocks per second, which is 18.76 at the time that I was farming. And this is basically, you try to get the closest that you can to the 20 ticks per second. And that means that you're farming as ideal as possible and not affected by lag. So if you're lagging, that number is definitely going to go down a little bit. And then you can also see your crops per minute. So if we take the 90,000, which I was farming earlier, and that means that in the 20 minute contest, I would get about 1.8 million of that crop. And this, as you farm, it will average out the last minute. So I had not finished my minute, which is why those numbers are still a little low. But basically, the more that you farm, the better the average will be. The composter GUI here is pretty nifty, where it tells you how long you have until your next compost is ready. Also tells me that I have 92 composts ready to pick up whenever I go back to the composter. And that in 3 hours and 8 minutes, it's going to be finished processing the current seeds and the oil that I put in. The next display is one that's pretty cool. It gives you your farming fortune and it adds both your base plus your crops. So if we were to press tab and add up the base that I have plus the melon farming fortune I have, it would total the 1500. So again, something you can get to fairly easily, but that way you don't have to press tab. You can just take a look in the corner and make sure that everything is equipped correctly. So if I started to farm and I saw this number was at 1300 or something like that, I know that something is off and I'd start looking at my gear and seeing, okay, did I forget to equip something or 
what's going on over here. So it's a good thing to double check where you're at. Uh, you can also track your farming weight if that's something you're interested in and also your farming rank uh, where you are based on your weight. And it'll tell you either what are the next crops that will be in a contest and how long that contest is away. Or if there's an active contest, it will tell you active and show you the crops that are actively in contests and how much time remains in the current contest. You also have the optimal speed, so as you change the equipment that you have, it will tell you the optimal speed that you should be using and you can also override this with your own values if you prefer. The mushroom cow perk, if you have a cow equipped, it's basically going to tell you that the mushroom tier 31 is where I'm at right now and I'm you know about halfway towards tier 32 so you can not only look uh, at your progression on your current crop, but also on your mushrooms at the same time too. And the last one is the best crop time, which tells you if you were to farm each of these crops, how long uh, in average it would take you to get to the next level. So as we can see here for the melons, we're about an hour, 15 minutes away and we get the same information over here, except here it tells you for all of the crops. And a couple of other things, so I mentioned the scroller uh, mod, and basically what that allows you to do if you have a piece of gear like this one that there's too much information that you can't see all of it. So that allows you to use the scroll wheel to scroll up and down. There's a couple of other mods that allows you to do the same thing, but this is one of the ones that allows you to do that. And also between any you and I think there's another mod too that gives you the bizarre uh, buy and sell prices for the item. So I have two of them installed, but you'll see that and same thing with the AH uh, prices for the items, depending if it's something that goes on the AH or the bazaar. So I find that pretty useful uh, to have while farming too. And that gives you an idea of how much things are worth. And if you press shift, it will tell you how much a stack would be worth. And if you remove shift, it'll show you for just one item, how much you can either buy or sell it for. The kind of last feature I think that I use, uh, and this one comes from the NEU, is allows you to see all of your chests and bags uh, open at the same time. So it makes it a lot easier to find things. And you also have a search over here. So if I were looking for my Yeti sword, for example, you put Yeti and you see that it kind of highlights it and it hides the other bags. and see just your Yeti sword and uh, likewise if I'm looking for my giant sword it'll tell me it's over here and it'll also highlight a couple of things here so this one has the giant killer uh, enchant which is why it's also getting highlighted so it doesn't search just the item name but also basically everything that's in the description for that item but that makes it uh, a lot easier to find the items that you're looking for if you have a lot of the enter chest pages and backpacks. So here I'll show if we talk to Madame Eleanor, we'll see that uh, we can see here that uh, she is looking for 18 enchanted golden carrots, which are worth 14 million. And in exchange, she'll give you these items, and we can see that just the value of the copper, if I were to sell green tums, would be worth 1.9 million. So it seems like that would be a fair trade uh, or a trade in your favor if you were to get that. And uh, likewise, as you talk to all of the NPCs, uh, it will be updated in the left side uh, to show what they're looking for and how much those crops are worth. And same thing for the space main uh, over here where 
we're going to see that it's still missing uh, quite a lot of the melon blocks and worth about 629 mils. So I'm about a third of the way there because uh, it starts off at uh, very close to 1 billion worth of crops that you need. So these are all some of the cool things that you can do with the mods. Uh, doesn't take a whole lot of time to install. Uh, once you have the forge installed, that's probably the longest one to get set up. But after you have your forge installed, you just put the mods in the uh, mod folder in your Minecraft folder. Um, very important here. If you get any mods, make sure that there are reputable mods. Make sure that they're massively tested by the community. Uh, it's very easy for somebody to hide a rat program or something that will give them access to your Minecraft account. So don't install mods that somebody gave you without being able to confirm their provenance of it. So always get the mods from the official websites or the official discords uh, if uh, there's either of those available there. And uh, also, you know, a good place to get links would be some of the well your reputed uh, Discord site. Um, so if you go to one of these, and they will have the links to the official servers of some of these mods. And that way you can make sure that you get a mod that doesn't have any viruses or any issues with it, that you're getting a clean mod the way that it is meant to be. Some of these mods, uh, you may be able to use the latest full release version. Some of them, you do have to use either the alpha or the beta version to get all the features, but they tend to be fairly stable. And if you read, read the descriptions that comes with it, they will tell you if there's any known issues with uh, that version of the mod. But a lot of them, if you want all of the features available, especially with the latest updates around the garden and pests and how the farming fortune is calculated where now they split it off between the farming fortune and the melon fortune for example so all of that um, you will have to probably use uh, one of the alpha or beta mods uh, for the moment and once they have that all of these features rolled out in their full release version. You can switch to that version afterwards. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave a comment. If you have any requests for future videos, please let me know also. Please remember to like, subscribe, share with a friend. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.